Spook fest. <laughs> it was a cold autumnal night. 7 p.m. I was thirsty. I used my footsteps to trail into the kitchen. Upon entry, I switched on the lights. To the corner of my eye, one of the cabinets opened itself with a loud creak. It opened slowly, all by itself, without me even touching the door knob. It was strange. Upon me, a glass cup came out of the cabinet, floating midair. It stood still for a little in the middle of the kitchen before almost dropping to the ground. I panicked and quickly rushed towards the cup, catching it in hand before it could hit the ground. It was a success. I managed to safely place the cup back away into the cabinet and close it again. But as soon as I turned towards the sink, I saw what seemed to be a figure standing there briefly before disappearing the very second I moved my foot towards the sink with a glass cup in hand. I quenched my thirst with a drink of water before returning to my bedroom. Though I closed the door behind me, my bedroom door seemed open. The figure I just thought I saw was standing there, near the mirror. It stood still, looking directly towards me. I tried to call out, but there was no response. The ghost would not hear me, or whatever it was couldn't hear me. The figure just stood there, doing nothing. Unknown to what it was, I stood there, taking steps closer and closer, but the figure wasn't moving. It wasn't until I turned my back to close the door that the figure would finally disappear. Without any luck. I turned again, facing towards the mirror. I w walked up towards the side of my bed. I was seated on the bed, sipping my water as I did. Standing there, in the corner of my eye, at the side of my bed, it was truthful, but finally, without a look in my eye, it all came to be that the figure would be standing there right in the corner. I was able to see it, and it was standing still. The figure stands still for a moment before its arms begin to move, reaching out for me. I qu quickly look away. And the figure is gone, once again. I look around in confusion, wondering what was going on. I finished drinking. Returning back to the kitchen to move my cup into the dishwasher. As soon as I opened it, what well, seems like an arm tried to reach out and grab me, almost pulling me inside of the dishwasher. But I was quickly able to escape. I screamed, sprinting back into the living room, where I saw the figure once again. But instead of trying to step closer to it to eliminate it, I stood still, briefly, before levitating. My body was flying, unable to move. All of a sudden, my mother comes in, seeing me floating, wondering why. 
I wasn't able to speak. Speechless. The figure's arms were placed in position to my position of my height, as of where I was floating. It was crazy. I was screaming out loud in my mind. But physically, no noise was coming out of my... It was something else. This figure it was definitely not usual. Night fell in the next day. I moved along. My parents and I would head towards church for the day. It was a Sunday. Church service in the morning. Before service, I walked up towards the priest. I asked the priest for help, telling him the story of what happened previously. The previous took an offer to investigate what was going on within my house. Only to his notice that once we returned back home after service, paranormal activity would get worse. Upon entry, many doors were slamming shut, opening and closing over and over again. But with each slam, it got louder and louder. The noise was too quick. It was something of difference. But nothing was ever said much. Each slam was so violent. Eventually, it stopped. What seemed to be the sound of crying came from the bathroom. The crying of a young child, a girl, was heard from inside the bathroom. My mother was questioned about it. However, there were no girls involved within my family. I was the only child. I had no sisters. Or any other brothers, in fact. No siblings at all. An only child. Yet that crying still seemed loud. Straight out of the bathroom. This is not what I wanted. Not what I wished for. What is this? I questioned to myself. Wondering why it was so violent. Upon that, a drawer opened. Things stopped. Spoons flying in the air, spilling out from the drawer. The spoons continued to flip one by one, straight out of the drawer. The sound of the metal clinking against the wooden flooring. It was loud. I covered my ears, but as soon as I covered them, it stopped. Following pursuit of the sound of footsteps and laughter, again from a young girl. Not much older than the one that was still crying in the bathroom. I tried to look around, searching every nook and cranny, but I didn't see anything. The priest had done looking around. He gasped and ran away, potentially trying to investigate a way to eliminate the spirit that was stuck inside. Eventually, as I turned towards the door, saying goodbye to the priest, I felt a tap on my shoulder. I gasped and followed in pursuit of the priest, going straight out of the house, terrified. 